Welcome back to the channel, dear podcaster. Do you know what really takes a lot of time? For me, when I publish a show or a new episode, is creating the graphics that go on my blog, my newsletter, on Twitter, Instagram, all of those places take a lot of time to create those graphics. I'm gonna show you a way to automate the creation of those graphics today. Okay, we're gonna use this app called Placid, placid.app. Uh, fair warning, there is, it is a paid app, it's $19 a month. Depending on how many graphics you make or depending on what you see today, maybe it's worth trading, I don't know, the hours that you spend creating graphics for your podcast. Uh, maybe it's worth trading the $19. So let's dive in, we're gonna show you that right now. You'll also need a Zapier account. A Zapier account you can do for free um, or you can get the paid one if you wanna do uh, more complex zaps as they're known. So here I am in the Placid app. I have a template already created, it's called Podcast Image. I'm going to edit that template right now. And you can see it here, hey, it looks just like our favorite uh, uh, graphic editing tool called, called Canva, at canva.com. So you might be wondering, hey Matt, what's the big deal? I can, I can create these kinds of things in Canva. Uh, what is Placid gonna do for me? So this template acts as a template to say, hey Zapier, when I publish a new episode of my podcast, automatically grab the title of that podcast and place it right here, right where it says your episode title goes here. We're gonna take our podcast episode title and put it right here. That way it's already done for us. And if you have many templates for many different social media sites or your, or your website, you could create a whole bunch of these templates and create dozens <laughs> of images all in one shot based off of this one template. So you can play with it, you can set up your template, you can change the, um, the font size, the colors, but, our, but largely this stuff is going to change automatically. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's close this. <clears throat> First thing you wanna do before we get to Zapier, if you're a Castos customer, grab your RSS feed link. So we'll just copy that right here in our distribution settings. And then we'll head to Zapier, create the Zap. The trigger will be RSS, so clicking on RSS by Zapier, the event will be a new item in the feed. Every time a new item appears, that's what we're gonna use, so we're gonna hit continue. The feed URL will be our Castos podcast feed. Click on refresh fields, it's just gonna validate the RSS feed, we'll hit continue. Uh, you can test the trigger, and then see all the data that's in the RSS feed. We'll hit continue again. And then we'll say the action is Placid. So Placid. The event will be create a new image based off of our template. Continue, select the account. Continue. And then select the template that we have, which is just called podcast image. Now this is where the magic happens. You can see all of these, what I'll call custom fields, template, image, background, subtitle, title. This is the one that we uh, are most interested right here is the title field, because that connects directly to this title field right here, where it says your episode, episode title goes here. So we'll go back to Zapier, and here we'll put in the text, my podcast episode, <clears throat> and that's, dynamically pulling from the RSS feed. So just refresh that one more time. This graphic gets made with your podcast episode title in it right from the RSS feed as soon as you hit publish. Uh, and that's the only one that I, I'm concerned with for this demonstration. You can change everything about that graphic. You can change the background color, the image, uh, the text of the subtitle, uh, the text of the title like we're doing today, colors and all of this stuff, but we, we're only gonna focus on the title. Hit continue. And then we'll test and continue. And then we'll publish and turn the zap on. So the zap is active. There's actually a test that went to uh, Placid that we can take a look at right now so you can see it. Uh, but what we're gonna do is go to our Castos dashboard right now. We're gonna upload a new episode We'll say Matt's YouTube demo, exclamation point. This is a test. We'll upload some audio. 
and we're just going to publish it. Oh, we're going to finish uploading. Give that a second to finish uploading. Video. And we're just going to publish it. Oh, we're going to finish uploading. Give that a second to finish uploading. Okay, so the test file is done uploading. And now we'll publish the episode. So now what Placid will do is create a graphic based off of our, te our template that we created. It'll say Matt's YouTube demo exclamation point in the middle of that graphic based off of uh, the Zapier zap that we create. Okay, so head back to our Placid app dashboard, go to creative and then images. You can see the image is created right there. Matt's YouTube demo. We click that and our graphic is made uh, with Matt's YouTube demo right in the title. So you can see that the power of this is you could create many different graphics based off of your one episode that you published. So you could ship this uh, graphic off to your marketing team, to your uh, guest that you had on to say, hey, here's the promotional graphic to use, or you know, use this marketing team on the blog or what have you. Um, you could even extend the zaps to do multi-step zaps where it would take that, that image send it off to Twitter automatically or LinkedIn. You'd have to have a paid Zapier account to do that. But the idea is now you could set up these templates for uh, the, the various points uh, of interest that you have and automatically make them as soon as you hit publish uh, on your podcast episode. I think it saves a boatload of time. If you're uh, a small production shop, if you are a, a consultant in the podcast space and you're doing this for clients, this certainly helps uh, your that certainly makes your life a little bit easier um, to sort of take that that data and put it into a, an image. So long as you want the title, uh, you could pull in the description, you could pull in parts of the description, whatever it is, you can send that data through Zapier into Placid and it makes your uh, content creation wheel process a whole heck of a lot easier, maybe even more fun, definitely less time. It's gonna save you a whole bunch of time if you're creating graphics. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. What else do you want to see on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, see you in the next video.